You ready to go tonight? Yes, I do. You, I, you I'm feeling good? Feeling fine. Yeah, got a little of the uh, a little laryngitis. Cold. Yeah, but but let's just not even act like it's there. Right. Let's just act like I'm froggy from from uh, Little Rascals, <laughs> grown up. My favorite and this of the is Little the Rascals. Job that I've chosen. <laughs> right. Well, I, 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 there's a lot to talk about tonight. I mentioned uh -huh. a few news stories over there, but I actually saved. I think what's it's probably the biggest story in America, wouldn't you say, right now? One of the I biggest probably, stories. Probably. Probably. Yeah. Uh, there's, a, there's currently a lot of controversy in the news over the fate of the little Cuban boy, Elian Gonzalez. Everybody loves to talk about little Elian. The, the story's been with us for months now. Yeah, now the people in Cuba want him to return, while many in America want him to stay. And it, it's a tug of war that's been going on for, like you said, about a month now. Anyway, we here at Late Night thought it's high time that we sort of threw in our two cents about the whole thing. Gave our opinion because America desperately wants to hear mm -hmm. our opinion, I believe. As does Elion. As does Elion. Yeah. Who we understand is a late night viewer. Yeah, absolutely. He's up tonight watching it mm -hmm. on a Spanish language yeah. station. And we thought it's time for us to finally break the tension and let people know how we feel. And we're going to do that right now, our position on this whole thing, in a little segment we're going to call Stay, Elion, Stay. Sorry. That's okay. It's all right. <laughs> Elion, we know you're watching, so here's our opinion. Elion, we here at Late Night want you to stay in America, the land where anything is possible. If you stay, you could end up becoming a star like some <coughs> other famous Cuban immigrants. For example, World Series hero El Duque Hernandez. Yeah. 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 There's Desi Arnaz. Yeah. CNN's Larry King. Barbara Streisand. Ashley Olsen, or Oslando of the Olsen twins. Edgar Winter. And of course, Cuba's native son, the guy from Powder. It's important. That people know. That now, Elian, while Cuba may offer you the world's best cigars, everyone knows that about Cuba. They got the best the cigars. Best cigars in the world. We here in America have plenty of other great phallic symbols for you to enjoy. <laughs> we have the Washington Monument. <laughs> we have the Patriot Missile. And of course, Minnesota Governor Jesse Ventura. <laughs> so, think about that. Now, Elian, uh, one thing you probably miss about your homeland is the music, such as this hit performed by Latin sensation Tito Puente. Well, Elian, now you can hear that same music in America. Here's the same Tito Puente song after Puff Daddy got his hands on it. <laughs> Take a listen. Uh -huh. Hell yeah. Much better. Hell yeah. Much better. Hell so much yeah. Better. Now, Elian, think about this. The leader of Cuba is Fidel Castro. He has a beard, and therefore he looks suspicious and can't be trusted. Our leader is clean shaven, therefore looks honest and trustworthy. I mean, take a look. Irrefutable proof he right looks, there. He looks much more trustworthy. Absolutely. Now, we found that everybody looks more trustworthy without a beard. For example, here's Santa. Here he is without a beard. Much improved. <laughs> now, here's Jesus, Jesus Christ. Some think the beard makes him look a little shady. Let's see him without the beard. Much better. And finally, the Ayatollah Khomeini always sported a beard. But look at him when he's clean shaven. Good work, my friend. Thank you. You know, here's some good news for you, Elian. If you're worried about your family situation working out here in America, 
You can take solace in the knowledge that there's one incredibly famous American celebrity who would love to adopt you. He's an extremely wealthy singer, loves children, has a pet monkey, likes to wear one glove, and has had extensive plastic surgery. We're talking, of course, about Kenny Rogers. <laughs> Now, Elian, we know that like all Cubans, you're proud of your country's vibrant arts and culture. Well, plenty of Cuban artists now live here in the U.S. We may not have the best Cuban musicians or dancers yet, but we do have the best Cuban prop comic, Gallahero. Check him out. Buenos noches, watermelon! Yeah! Yeah! And of course, we also have his brother, Gallahero Dos. <laughs> andale, andale! A buenos noches, watermelon! <laughs> Me no chupa! Oh, you ain't the man, you ain't here! Me no chupa! And finally, <laughs> and finally, Elian, one big reason to stay in America is our freedom of speech. That's right, if you return to Cuba, you could be severely punished just for speaking your mind. Here in America, we're free to degrade and humiliate our most cherished historical figures. And with that in mind, please enjoy President Abe Lincoln being disciplined by Gallahero Dos. Go to it. Courtesy of Jared Miller. Stick around. We'll see you in a second.